For hydraulics to lower our flaps uh -huh. and our spikes to penetrate the earth, the anchors down. We have these switches here that release air and raise and lower the vehicle okay. with airbags. We have two radios. This one's our <laughs> siren. So we try not to use that. When uh, you were actually in the tornado it's recording, shot so. the movie, did you have the spikes yeah. down? Yes, we yeah. did. And how many years did it take to get that shot? Um, it took us eight years. Eight years. So we're doing just a parking lot ride because okay. it's not street legal in the yeah. Canada. So yeah. we're just going to get a little taste of it in the parking lot, unfortunately. But it is a turbo diesel. So it does get up and go. Yeah. We're going to do a little sample. The high pitch noise. Oh, cool. Is, uh, the turbo. Yeah, you looked like in the movie you were booting it pretty fast with this thing. Yep. Yeah. For seven tons, it will go 110 miles per hour. How does this compare weight-wise to a transport truck? Uh, like a big full-size 18-wheeler truck weighs about close to 30,000 pounds, so half the weight of a 18-wheeler. 18-wheelers okay. and school buses have a tendency to really get tumbled around in tornadoes because they're yeah. Structure is like a big wind sail. Yeah. So occasionally we do rescues on highways from 18 wheelers that have flipped. I've driven one of those for 10 years, school bus. Oh, you did? And then I learned how to drive an 18 wheeler. Oh, was out there great. for two months and went, I really don't like this. <laughs> it's tough. Hi, guys. They want to hear the horn. <laughs> Here, do the turret, Ray. All right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do another lap, I guess. I think this school bus is going to come out right now. What is, is that this? school bus going to come out right now? You can, uh, I'm going to do one more lap. Well, you can go out the exit as well as down to the back of the building and around if you want. Oh, oh cool. We'll do that. We'll extend your right a little bit. Okay. Not that side, but this side of the parking lot, go out, and then they'll let you back in that side when you want. Okay. Let's we'll go around that way. Okay. All the bells and whistles. What's this for? Just for putting your notepads on it? Uh, this locks it's in the our turret. Laptop. Okay. So we can uh, monitor the That's weather. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's where they filmed it. Also, it also has a pretty elaborate camera. It holds yeah. the camera. Yeah, I'm sure. Hi, guys. So this stuff is back. So there's ringing quarters in here, though. Oh, there is. Uh, not really. <laughs> Having fun, Janine? Oh yeah, I'm recording the whole thing. Yes, we can fix it here. So what's the turning radius of this thing? It's not too bad when our power steering is working correctly. Uh-huh. Closing my head, eyes. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Some of the shots are a bit, uh, a lot of movement. It helped me better understand. A friend of mine lives in Massachusetts, but uh, part of their town was wiped out by a tornado recently. Oh my goodness! And uh, he was talking uh, just a couple of days ago that they had another tornado warning, and how terrified they all were. You know, just the thought another one might be coming. But yeah, um, a huge section of their town was just gone. Uh, what town was it? I don't recall now what the name what, of it was. What state? It's in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. It was in Massachusetts. Oh, okay. This one. A place where they what? don't often get to. Yes, yes. So this is a guy I talked to online. Oh, well, that's close. I guess we'll huh? back out of here. It's a guy I talked to online on a forum on a regular basis. Something with a big red nose. <laughs> 
Is that a rhino? No, oh, that's Rudolph. That's a moose. That's a moose. That's a moose. That's Rudolph. Oh, uh, Rudolph the moose. <laughs> They, Toronto used to have a whole bunch of those all over town. Oh, it really? was their mascot for a year. Oh. And uh, they gave it to different businesses to decorate the way they wanted. That must cool. have been the one a they had. Tornado intercept vehicle. Oh, it's a Dodge 3500 pickup truck. Yes, sir. This is a pickup truck? Yep, a Dodge 3500. Uh, uh, severely modified. Yeah. It was. Yeah, it was. What's left is the uh, yeah. steering wheel and engine, pretty much. <laughs> How long did it take to build this? Oh, approximately eight months. Okay. I think I can go up that way. We'll soon find out. So, how did you guys uh, win this? Did you register? On breakfast television. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, they, um, I guess, um, you guys were at the the studio showing it off and uh, Dina gets up there and she goes whoever knows how far the poles have to go in the ground um, call us in and uh, you can win a prize but I didn't hear what the prize was and then uh, she turns to I forget who she was talking to at the time but she says um, uh, let's get it up over there too. she asked how uh, she says is it feet or meter and whoever was she talking to, she go, oh yeah, just over a meter. And she cried, oh man, you just told the answer. So I quick typed it in and sent it in. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> you need somebody to spot you, or are you okay? I think I got it. It goes in about 42 inches. 42 inches. Which the United States would convert to metric. Well, they're one of the uh, only two countries in the whole world that don't use metric systems. You're right, it's only two countries. Yeah. That's in the UK, I guess. No, it was this tiny little country. I looked it up one time to see. Oh, it's not I, the UK. I was curious who didn't use metric anymore, or who um, was still using the imperial system. Mm -hmm. And it was this tiny little country I never heard of before in the States. Oh. So you can go cross country with this too? Yeah. Well, I've been driving it since February and uh, accumulated about 48,000 miles. No, so I mean over grass and in the fields oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, we do farm roads predominantly. Okay. We don't go too much off-roading because yeah, of the weight. Yeah, too heavy, yeah. yeah. It is four-wheel drive. Yeah. Janine's always been fascinated by tornadoes. Okay. Yeah. Me too. I've always wanted to see one. I always get so excited when there's possibility for tornadoes in the air. Yeah, once you see one, you, you might get hooked. Sure, I would. Oh, I think that's just the exit. Yeah, it might be. Oh, it is, huh? Uh oh. They said they'd let us back in. Well, they know. They We're going to have to go know. on the street. Yeah, they don't <laughs> want us on the street, so. Or maybe they're Is that oh, the next one over yeah. on the other side there is the way to get in? Okay. The next one. That makes sense. Okay. We don't want this, uh, I thought too it went to the right <coughs> side. Toronto here, police I coming over. Right in here. They said they'd open it for us. Oh, see, there's a call box there and stuff. So. Hello. There's a up on the pole there, just behind you. Is a call box. No, it's a pin Isn't code. that a call box? No, it's pin code. side tornadoes, our windshield wipers blow off, our mirrors blow off, and sometimes our weather instruments blow off. Other than that, it stays pretty intact. Yeah. So who came up with the idea to put these poles to bury? Uh, Sean did.
and we broke a bolt in our sway bar, so everyone's will hear you hear that big cracking sound. Okay. That's what that is. We're in need of repairs. So I think I'm gonna park behind this bus this time. What is it called again? The tornado interception vehicle? Correct. Yeah. Okay. The TID. Tony and Ziva. And this is number two. We built the bus. I saw you coming and left. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm out of here. <laughs> so, did you drive this up here or did you uh, put it on the back of a truck? Uh, we trailered it in from Detroit, okay. but we normally drive it on the highway because Canada did not let us drive it on the road. Because of the weight or just because it was so weird? Our, our registration is expired. Ah, okay, <laughs> that'll do it. Okay, let me lower these flaps a little bit. Oh, this is the window, isn't it? Yeah, right. Those are our hatches. The hatch, yeah. Very cool. That's it.